I've been a dressmaker for um, years, but not professionally. I've done things for friends and family. I've done things for theatre companies. I needed some bits for this alteration. So we went into town, went into Leeds Market. It's on a slope is Leeds Market. So I went up these two steps, went in, and as I came down, I was just putting all my baggage away, and I'm thinking, right, am I going up the market? Am I going down the market? Next thing I know is I'm on the floor, and my foot was like that. And they put a pot on, pinned it, screws on this side. I had a, that scaffolding that they put on. I had one of those as well with pins sticking out. That was fun. Didn't hurt at all that. It just looks so gruesome because you've got the sticks, but it just didn't hurt at all. Then they took it off and put a pot on, and there we go. However, six months later, I'd had the pot removed, but I found I couldn't walk. I was doing catch up because the pin was stopping my foot from bending over properly. And it's really painful, and there was a little part that hadn't healed up. It looked like a little figure eight. Anyway, I went every week um, and it got a bit better and it got a bit better and things healed up. Uh, the skin graft healed, healed up. This looked um, big and purple and but it was healing up but there was a tiny little bit at the side. Wouldn't heal up. And I went for two and a half years there. Every And it was a joint clinic. It was an ortho um, plastics clinic and both the consultants came and had a look which was pretty good. Then you weren't having to go twice. Um, but then the um, ortho guy, he said, right, your bones are healed now, we'll just see the plastics. So I went to see this little chap and um, he kept saying, well, there's really nothing more we can do. He said, it will just heal up by itself. He said, so if you want to just see how it goes, he said, if you've got any concerns, come back. And that was it, I was signed off. So a few weeks later, I could see it was really painful. I've now become allergic in that area alone, just up by itself, to every plaster going. And we've tried everything from the silver to the Manuka honey to absolutely everything. And this wound just wouldn't heal up. And he said, look, well, it's looking a bit better. And it was looking a bit better at the time. He said, well, we'll leave it again. So that's the second time we'll leave it again. So I had to make another appointment with them and say, look, it's still not healed. It is now two and a half years and I'm sick to death of this. It's driven me mad, it not healing up. And I'd go, I'd go to the doctors every week, the consultants every week, and I'd expect that he'd be able to tell me something else. It just went on for weeks and weeks and weeks. And that lack of knowledge and lack of confidence that it's actually going to work just gets you down. And I can't, I don't think I felt depressed. It was just a frustration that I would talk to my family and my husband would, patient suffering, long suffering husband would listen to me going on and on about this and look at this. We'd take photographs regularly to see what it was like and it wasn't getting any better for that year. And I have to tell you, it was a very deep ulcer. And these ulcers, they can go deep and into your bones. And again, it's got this fear all the time that if it didn't heal up, I was going to lose my foot. And I said to him, right, I'm going to, um, instead of coming into Leeds, I'm going to see if I can get a consultant down here at Penderfields. And I got an appointment um, two years ago. And it was only when I got to see Dr Leanne here that uh, I got sent to the vascular and she just got me straight into these lovely, lovely stockings. There's two, there's two stockings, there's a liner that you put on and then these lovely delightful things and they compress it. You put compression on it, you get good fresh blood into it, then it will start healing. And it was only when I got into Leanne's department that this started happening. And I have to tell you, this was the end of November time and I had an appointment on the 6th of January and on the 6th of January it had gone from like that size to the size of my fingernail. In that short space of time, we couldn't believe it, none of us in the family, after all the angst I've had for all these years. So although another year has gone by, it has healed. She told me this morning we've gone in, there is skin, there is no ulcer, it is healed, but she just wants me to keep these stockings on because it, the, it's tender. I think the important thing is, if, if you don't know what the correct information is to ask, so I assume that the doctors know what they're doing. So a week by week basis, and you find a month's gone by and six months has gone by and a year's gone by, nothing is changing. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it isn't. And if you, if you don't get specialist help right at the very beginning, then things are going to get worse. So that's what Leanne's team is all about. They've never said to me, we, we, we're, we can't fix this. They've never said that. 
they've always said oh there's always something we can do there's always something we can do when you come out thinking if this don't work well there's always something else we can do and that's that's what it is now that i know exactly what's gone wrong with me i'd be straight away in, you don't want to leave that you don't want to leave that you want to get there you want to get referred to the vascular department you do you want to find somebody and if that person doesn't sort it or give you give you options as to what things can be done this is what i didn't get and this is why it's gone on for so long because i didn't know that didn't understand that and that's what i would say to somebody and don't let anybody tell you that it can't be fixed because i am living proof after four years that it can be fixed. <laughs>